What's up guys, Juggalo here, and here it is, my water cooling case suggestions for May 10th, 2012. If my head is cut off by the video, oh well, your main focus is not me, your main focus should be on these cases that I'm suggesting. Alright, first up we have the Case Labs MH10 case, okay? And basically you can hold uh, four... 360 rads here, 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 and here. So you can do a push pull configuration with no problems. You have plenty of room in these cases. Next up, let me pull it up right there, is the K Slabs TH10. Now this can hold four RX480 rads with no problem. Even then, you could put like six rads in. And what do you mean by that you're asking well you could put a rad right here to the left to the right to the, uh, the left of the bottom right bottom you can put one by the PSU since it has two PSU uh, deals you can actually get a bracket to put in the one spare PSU that you're not using and put a 480 rad there you also could put a 4880 rad here excuse me you can put a 480 rad here if you really want to to go gung-ho crazy Next up will be the Case Labs STH10. You can put 480 rad as well as a 360 rad from what I've been hearing. So go ahead and check out Case Labs. And these cases by no means is cheap. They're pretty expensive, but they're well worth it. Trust me, the quality is phenomenal. Next up we're gonna have the standard Cooler Master cases. You're gonna have the half 932, which everybody knows you can put a 360 rad on the top that's pretty much done a lot actually so you can put a 360 rad at the top if you want you could probably do some modding to put a 240 rad right here if you're into modding and everything like that next up again the cool master case the half x the half x again you could probably put a 360 rad or you can put a 360 rad right at the top probably could mod it to where you could put a 240 Right, right here if you really want to you just have to give up some drive bays next up we're gonna have the ATS or ATCS 840 cooler master case you can put a 360 rad at the top and if you don't care about your hard drive cages you could put a 240 rad right here as well if you want to next up we have the Cosmos 2 and you can put a 360 rad on the top with no modification. If you want to get ballsy and do some modification, you can actually uh, basically take a template of what the hole looks like for the top, transfer it over, and you can actually put a 480 rad on top of this case. You can put a 240 rad at the bottom with no problem. All right. Next up, we have the Cooler Master 690. Now this is going to require you some modification. This is actually a buddy of mine's uh, build. And what he did, he just cut out a hole at the top, fit the rat in, and it was perfect. Alright, next up we have the Cooler Master Storm Scout. And someone suggested this to me. If you are into modification and you do not care about uh, your drive bays whatsoever, you can actually have a 360 rad in the front with no problem perfect example is right here alright next up we have the Cosmos S now as you guys know this was my first case for water cooling build or a water cooling build I should say and you can put a 360 rad with no problem as adding other rads you really don't have the space for it unless you want to do some mod and you might be able to get that in there so that is the Cosmos S case Next up, we have the Silverstone TJ07. As you guys know, I had this case too. You're able to put a 480 rad and a 240 rad at the bottom. You won't be able to do a push-pull configuration. It will be either or for the rads that you are using. Next up, we have the TJ11 case. Now, this case is cool looking in my opinion, but the price point is way too high. It's like $700 for this case. So instead of seven hundred dollars, I'd rather go get a Case Labs case that is more meant for water cooling. But you can use this case for water cooling if you want. You can put a four eighty rad at the bottom and a two forty rad 
at the bottom as well. Push pull configuration is out of the question. Either do a push on one rad and a pull on the other, or do push push for both rads if you want. Next up, whoops, it's hitting my fans. All right, is the Silverstone Raven 2, and this guy did some modding. He said you're able to put a 240 rad with a mod. So here you go. Next up is Lian Lee Lee uh, PC. Uh, it's going to be the P80. And this right here can hold a 360 rad in the front. And uh, I'm trying to figure out what's hitting that noise. Oh, there we go. Got rid of it. Sorry about that. So again, you can put a 360 rad in the front if you want. Next up is the Lian Lee Lee. TYRPC TAC X2000F. Now basically this is a ABS 595 case which is what I have. What this will enable you to do is put a 360 rad in the front with no problem, the EX series preferably. Now if I'm mistaken and this isn't the 695 or the 595 case this will probably be the 695 case which you could put a uh, 420 millimeter rad in front of the case if you want. Alright, next up is the Lee and Lee PC TAC A77B. You could put 240 rads, but it's going to require you to do some modification on the case. Uh, basic tools you would probably need is a Dremel, a jigsaw if you have that handy, and some step bits. That's what you really need. All right, next up is the Lian Lee Lee PCV2120. You can put a 360 rad on the top, and from what I got by a suggestion, you can actually put a 280 rad in the front if you want to. Okay, next up we're going to go to the NZXT uh, cases. We have the Switch 810, which looks like you could put a 360 rad with no problem at the top. Next up we have the NGXT Temptus Evo. Now as you guys know I was able to do a water cooling build on the Temptus but I didn't like how it was set up, I didn't like the spacing and everything like that. So my suggestion is that you're gonna have to use a fairly thin rad, like really thin and you can do it if you want, if you're just cooling the CPU, but you're probably going to have to have some really high RPM fans, or you're just doing it for looks and really don't want to overclock, but overclock a little, okay? That is my suggestion for the NZXT Evo case. Next up, we're going to go to the Corsair series cases, and uh, it's a good case slash bad case. What I mean by that? Well... I have a lot of people saying, hey, Corsair is a great case. Well, in all actuality, it really isn't due to the fact that there's poor airflow in the case. I know it is great for cable management and everything like that, but for airflow, you really want to get a custom acrylic window like my buddy did and have 240 millimeter fans on the window introducing that fresh air you really need if you're going to go in water cooling, okay? And this is his build right here the top one this is a buddy of mine I helped him do it he has a 360 rad at the top I helped him modify the bottom to put a 240 rad at the bottom so that probably took about 30 minutes to do maybe a little less <clears throat> next up we have the uh, 700D case right here and it's basically it doesn't have certain features that the 800D does but overall you can do the same thing if you want you can put a 360 rad at the top you can put a 240 rad at the bottom if you really want to here he just put a uh, looks like a 120 rad at the bottom next up we have the danger den water box and basically this will enable you to have some kind of portability in your build if you want to uh, this right here can hold 240 rads, probably in the front, the back. Well, I've been saying this is a front and this is the back. And uh, you also can get other uh, Danger Den cases as well. Um, you can use a tech bench. You could put a 240 rad or 280 rad, I should say, if you really want to. 
Next up, we're going to go to the Danger Den Tower 29. Now this right here looks really sleek and nice. And you can put a 480 rad. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Again, this is a Danger Den 29 uh, tower. And what you can do, you can put a 480 rad right here with no problem if you want to. Alright, and I'm sure you can probably add a rat at the top if you ask them to make it uh, have it. Alright, next up, we're going to go to the uh, Danger Den LDR Tower 29 double wide case. And I'm trying to think or try to see. It looks like you can put a 480 rat here, 480 rat here, one, two, three, a 360 rat on the left bottom and a 360 rad at the right bottom okay and these are uh, some of the suggestions I would look into if you are looking into getting a water cooling case um, me personally I love case labs cases because the quality is phenomenal Jim is a really good guy and everything like that and if you want something custom done to the case he might be able to work with you into getting the case you want like maybe you want a little shorter he might be able to help you all you have to do is just contact him via Facebook or PM him on his uh, website that he has and you'll be able to see if he'll be able to work out uh, work that out with you okay and this is my case labs all the way down to danger den water cooling case suggestions this is specifically for custom loops. This isn't for the all-in-one coolers like the H70, H80, H100, H50, H60, so on and so forth, okay? Custom water cooling is what I'm aiming for, not all-in-one water cooling solutions. All right, and I guess that's it. If this video is a little long or short, I apologize, but hopefully you get the gist and everything like that. Hopefully this video does help you out on your water cooling adventure if you choose to do so. And as always, comment, subscribe, rate this video, click that like button. You guys have a great day. Bye.